Good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Monday. It's the beginning of the work week for most, but every day is a Monday, every day is a Sunday, every day is, is, a, is just another day for those of us who are retired and trying to build a house. Uh, so today, the agenda is, mm, I'm not really sure. I have several things that need to be done. There's a lot of stuff on my plate. I have some gardening that need to be that needs to be done. I have some granite, some granite, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about that later on in the episode uh, that I would like to work on, mm, particularly in the comfort room over on the first floor, uh, the ground level comfort room side there. Also, I think there was some other things I wanted to work on today, but um, those are the two main objectives. Oh, Ness wants me. She said, why haven't you gotten to my uh, my Zen garden yet and got all those weeds and, and the, uh, the grass that's impeding on, so I will have to work on that as well. Uh, uh, update on Hapon. Hapon did great last night. He slept well. Uh, he took his, his medication this morning, uh, to, uh, the antibiotic. Uh, you put it inside a little bit of bread. He was really hungry because he hasn't really eaten oh for mm, I think about 24 hours or something like that. Remember the night before Saturday night 9 p.m. he couldn't eat after that. Uh, so he gulp, gobbled that down so he has his medication but he's doing great. He's just not too happy about having that little cone thing around his head. He keeps bumping into everything around the house. Well let's go ahead and get today started. I don't want to make this intro too long. I'm chatting here with Ness right now on Skype. <laughs> And uh, so I, uh, I, I will speak with her a little bit longer and then we'll go outside and start working around the house here. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. What a beautiful morning it is here. It almost makes me feel like I just want to sit around and relax and uh, not do anything around the house today. But uh, I have to push myself. It's all about discipline. I need to get these things done and because then once everything is done, then I can enjoy it around here as a, in, in a nice relaxing, hopefully without all that noise in the background. <laughs> So um, one thing I wanted to bring up this morning, and the fact that you saw when I opened up, I had the uh, I had the guitar, the classical guitar there in the morning. Uh, having an instrument, learning an instrument, either for yourself or your children, or for both you and your children, it's such an en an enlightening uh, experience, and it will give you years and years of relaxing pleasure. You know, I brought up the fact the other day that gardening is so relaxing. Well, music and gardening and all these non-technology kind of things, it reduces the stress in your life, believe it or not. And I, I can tell you, I'm so glad that my father, my dad, exposed me to the guitar at a very early age. I can't tell you how many times uh, when I just feel like I'm overwhelmed, uh, uh, either in my, when I was working, uh, before I retired, even here many times uh, doing with the build. And I, I retreat and I retreat back to the uh, musical instrument, the, uh, the guitar specifically for me. And it just brings my stress level down and it's a good way, it's a, a very non-techy way to relax. Well, that was just one point I wanted to open up with today, to share with you that the importance of having music in your life, uh, different types of hobbies that will reduce your stress level. I encourage you to learn how to play if you don't already know how to play any instrument, as well as encourage you to mentor your children uh, to learn how to play an instrument and get away from all those tech, tech, techie devices like phones and, and, and 
tablets and computers and stuff like that, uh, I assure you it will pay off in the long run. Well, let's go ahead and get started today. I, I want to go downstairs. I want to show you what I found uh, as in the granite department, the granite department. Uh, one of the, the tasks that I would like to get to today, I don't know if I will, I might, I might even start off with it today. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to first go inside the comfort room uh, on the ground floor and look at that that uh, sink area and then we're going to go and I'm going to show you what I found down in the basement a few days ago. Well, if you remember from the other day, I was trying to show you that this area still is unfinished. This is the concrete slab underneath the granite and we weren't really sure what we were going to put up underneath here. But I think uh, problem solved, uh, I would love to continue this, uh, the granite, the granite uh, top on here, the same that we use for the ledge for the shower over here, and for the back and the skirt that goes along. I would love to continue this around here. So this is one uh, continuous piece of granite all together that supports the vessel sink. Well, I didn't think I had any left over. I, I thought we used the last, right up to the last uh, millimeter uh, for this section right here and for the back. But now I was rummaging through all of the remnants of the granite that I had laying all over the basement. And I saved. And this was something that I explained to you when you are building your project, save remnants, save remnants of tiles and of granite, granite if you are using them inside your house. You never know that piece that might have been thrown away that you can use it for something, no matter how small it is. Then when your project is totally done and you don't need it anymore, then you can go ahead and get rid of all the leftover pieces or save some for other projects later on, especially if the, uh, the leftover is big enough that you can make some kind of project like a table or a, a corner piece or even a bench inside of a shower. So what I found was this. So these, these were leftover pieces of granite and this is the same mat that, that came off of that, that slab that we have up inside the comfort room. And, and it's more than enough space to do the lining and it's already set up to the exact height that I need. So I scored a big bonus for that. So I think one of the things I'm going to try to do today, I'm going to get the Bosch grinder out. I'm going to get those cutting tools. Well, I'm act, I will use my, uh, my, my saw, my tile cutting saw, which is also good for stone as well, natural stone. And I'm going to cut this to size and I'm going to try to uh, polish and hone the corners so that we have a finished look. This is going to be uh, my test. But before I test, test it on the last two pieces, and I recommend this for you as well, if you have a remnant that you know you're not going to use or even something that doesn't matter that much and you've never done it yourself, if you haven't done it yourself, Practice on something else before you use your last piece that you have so that you have your technique down and you know, make your mistakes on something else that you're not going to use. And that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to use the grinder. I think that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to use the, uh, the grinder and get those polishing discs. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice on another remnant before we go to these two pieces and cut these two uh, to fit. Well, what I want to do right now, I want to hone my honing skills, <laughs> play on words there. So I'm going to use the grinder on this piece, although I don't have to do much grinding at all on the finished pieces that are going to go around the vanity. Uh, what I'm going to do for this one, I want to use the grinder to grind the edge to get sort of a rounded edge on it. And once I take the roughness off of this practice piece right here, and then I will use the polishing pads. Remember I have a a uh, 150, a 1000, and a 300 grit, and I will use those to hone my skills uh, so I can see if I ach can achieve the desired finish on uh, this one. Then I'll transfer that over to the new granite that we are actually going to use for the vanity sink. And don't forget, safety is first. Make sure you have some type of safety glasses or glasses that cover protection for your eyes and something for your hearing.
All right, well, uh, remember today's objective is really not for grinding. We weren't planning on doing much of any grinding, but I did take the rough edge off of this. The main thing we are trying to do is become familiar with using the polishing pad, uh, which is going to be the next step. So let's go ahead and hook up the 150 grit uh, polishing pad. But first we have to have the backing that connects the adapter that connects to the grinder, and then we'll put the pad on the adapter. Okay, now just a few minutes, uh, and remember, this is a, we're not, I'm not going to spend all day because I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste my pads on my practice piece, so I need to save it for the actual uh, granite that we're going to be using in the comfort room. Well, anyway, I want you to see the difference, and this is just three pads. Remember how many pads they have uh, on the back of each one of these. They will tell you uh, all the difference: 50, 100, 150, 200, and 300 for coarse. And then they have also five more for the fine, starting from 500 and ending up with 3,000 grit. And the 3,000 grit is the last one that I used for, uh, for this application. Now I want you to see the difference between uh, the beginning and the end, going to the 3,000. Now the beginning is still really rough. Uh, and all I used on this one right here was the, the, uh, the grinder. This is just a grinder on here. But look, using just the three pads and only a few minutes worth of work, what this looks like. So you see how nice and shiny and finished uh, this is. And that was from a minimal amount of time and effort. Uh, can you imagine if you spent a lot of time on each one of the pads inside there and did it very precisely, it would be perfect. And that's how people who are professionals, the professional granite installers, that's what they'll do. Uh, but for me, I have very little bit of an application that I need to do, so I figure I can do all this myself, and I can think I can do just about as good a job as having a, a professional come in, plus save a little bit of uh, pesos uh, for, for me to be able to do this on my own. And I'm learning, and I hope you're learning too. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, start looking at the pieces that I have inside. Let's cut them to, uh, to the application inside the comfort room, we'll get some of the, the, the tile adhesive, and hopefully I can get those installed this morning.
Well, there you go. That is in place now. Uh, I will let it dry for 24 to 48 hours, and I'll come back on the corner, and I'll do a little bit of finishing so it's a little bit softer and it's not a sharp edge on the back. Then the very last thing is we need to do some grout. This bathroom, this comfort room is not complete. All of this area back here behind me doesn't have the grout. This did, but they, uh, the last day they were working on grout before they left back in January. Uh, was it January? February? March? When, when it, I think it was March when we left. So like I said, I'll let that sit and then we'll do a cleanup with it later on. So it's, it's actually lunchtime. So I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and then I have enough time in the day to go on to a second project. Maybe Nessa's Zen Garden. Well, lunch being done, <laughs> doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get out there at least for the moment and work on Nessa's Zen Garden. Remember, I needed to pull out all the grass that's going inside her rock formation in the front of the Zen Garden. Well, but who knows around here? The weather can change in a matter of just a couple of minutes. Uh, but I think, I think this might be around for a little bit and it's good. Remember I told you we were sort of in a drought condition last four or five days and I've been out there watering. You saw me yesterday, I believe it was. Mm, yeah, I believe it was yesterday with the hose doing the watering in the front yard. Well, we need this. It's a blessing in disguise, so I'm glad. And you know what? I'm not real big on pulling grass out of rock anyway. I'll do that later on. Just don't tell Ness I said that. Oh, oh what I wanted to talk about was, uh, while we're here, these windows in the back. If you are designing your house and you are making the decision, you have to make a decision on what type of window, I highly recommend the awning style windows like these right here. We've installed pretty much throughout most, about 80, about 80 to 90 percent of the windows here at Villa Feliz. Now the other type of windows that we have, we have the sliding glass windows like what we have inside the uh, dining room right here these windows here, as well as the windows in the master bedroom upstairs. And then we have some fixed windows, like the fixed windows that is in the stairwell going upstairs. But I highly recommend, especially uh, for this environment that rains a lot, because you can open up the windows, have a nice breeze come in without having to close anything. And you don't get, sometimes if the wind is blowing, you get just a little bit of, of the uh, rain that comes in. But if you also have the screens like we have here, <laughs> the screens, they become a deflector. So if drips of water from blowing wind, things like that go, they hit the screen usually and just travel down that. And it keeps it fairly dry inside the house. So tip of the day, if you are thinking about installing windows in your house, the awning style are the way to go. Well, as you can see, the rain stopped, unfortunately for me, which means I need to go work over here in Nessa Zen Garden. I don't have an excuse for right now. There's less than two hours before five o'clock, it's a little after three right now. So I'll get a little bit of it. I will chunk it. I will attack one certain spot of that area and then work my way. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of it done today. But, but who knows? So let me go ahead and get started on that while it stopped with the rain. But like I said, we needed the rain today. And then uh, I think that will be the last task of the day. Well, as you can see over my shoulder here, my gardener has been working hard today and uh, putting in the plugs in the grass blocks down here, the grass plugs. And we're almost to the top. Once this section gets done, I'm not sure whether we'll work on the one at the top or the one all the way down at the bottom, but that's the last section except for the steps that go uh, up to the backyard. So uh, kudos to my gardener for doing that. Well, anyway, what did we get accomplished today? Well, you remember I, I got an opportunity to work on the, the, the granite inside the uh, comfort room on the ground floor. And I got them installed and tomorrow I'll pull those little supports out and uh, tomorrow or the next day, uh, probably the next day, I'll probably just try to uh, do some adjustment on that corner so it's soft and round. Also I worked on uh, 
Nessa's Zen garden just a little bit here today. And it, I, I gotta tell you, I love gardening. I love gardening, but one thing that I don't love about gardening is I don't, I don't love weeding. Uh, that is probably one of the most tedious tasks. Uh, the one that you get the least amount of pleasure and gratitude out of. I'm not just that into weeding. I like putting the plants in. I don't mind pulling some of the, the weeds that come up right around it. I like putting the mulch down. I like trimming the, the, the plants and the shrubs. But weeding, I'm not into it. Then I got this light came on in my head. Uh, my, my wife, Ness, she likes, she tells me she, all the time, she likes pulling the weeds. She likes eradicating weeds and pulling grass when she's grass in the patio and stuff like that. Then I got to thinking, my goodness, I am so selfish. <laughs> uh, why didn't I think of my wife? So Ness, I, I think I'm gonna leave a little bit of this for you because I know how much enjoyment you get out of pulling weeds. What is it, what is it? <laughs> Well, anyway, my phone only has to be, it, it says up to two weeks for him to have to be inside this little cone thing here, this collar. Uh, and that's to prevent him from uh, pulling out any of the stitches while, while they are healing. So, uh, you, you, know what, you know what this reminds me of? I, I know the old folks, uh, the older generation, they'll remember. Remember the RCA dog? Uh, and he's, he's by that, that phonograph, uh, uh, I think they call it the gramophone. And if I remember, the name of that dog was Nipper. And, and he's standing in front of the gramophone with, with the record and stuff like that. Well, this is what this kind of reminds me of, is uh, at Nipper. Except he's, except Hot Phone is inside, inside the gramophone. But that's okay. I'm just teasing. So anyway, uh, we got some stuff accomplished today. And tomorrow, I'm really not sure. Uh, it could be setting out some more of those uh, plants that I have. But I need some more of the coconut uh composting mixture, uh, that soil additive. I need some of that. I actually want to do that whole area of it. I want to dig all of it up and rebuild that and make that some real fertile soil for a very nice uh, plant garden over there. Uh, inside the house, I still have, I still have to work on the, the, bath, uh, the bathroom shower floor, the comfort room shower floor. On the second floor, I want to put that grout down. Remember, I have the additive, uh, the, the, the waterproofing additive that go inside it to make it cementuous for the grout. That, that could be something I do tomorrow. I'm really not sure. It's one of those kind of things I wake up in the morning and I'm like, what am I gonna do today? I, and there's just so many things to do. Uh, it's not many days before the, uh, the contractor comes back. He said the first week in September. Uh, so then we'll have him back and uh, he'll probably be pleasantly pleased that some of this stuff is out of the way and he doesn't have to focus on that. He can focus on other things that are more important like redoing some of the uh, fascia uh, that uh, somebody did incorrectly when they did the finish on there. We have some cracking and some, a lot of fading and a lot of the doors need to be refinished. So, uh, several things, but it'll get done. And also I still have to pick up some of the tile. I still haven't made the decision on the, the tile or the stonework for the fence. Well, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday. And uh, again, whatever we decide to go into, we'll get into that tomorrow. So Hoppo and I are just gonna say goodbye for the day. Anyway, so if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up, please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day.